old folks. Uh, we know it's kind of challenging times at the moment and all classes are off. So what we want to do is we offer you some options to do at home in the comfort of your own home. You can st uh, stream this on your TV and just get yourself, the family and kids just involved and doing a bit of a workout. So we're going to do a mix of, you know, core work, movement rev stuff, which is what we do in house and some hit. Okay, so it's just about a 15 minute routine here that we're going to go through to get you warmed up uh, and get you fired up, keep, keeping you taking over during the next couple of weeks. We'll add more and more to this over each each week. There's going to be a couple of sessions going up. Uh, so t stay tuned in to either our YouTube, Facebook, and email, email, email us or text us any queries that you have regarding any of this stuff. All right, so we'll start off. So I'm going to do jogging on the spot. And then into our squat. So arms out in front. And you want to keep that nice flat back. I'm going to go front on and side on with all of these. Then we dial in our lunge, hands on the hips. Nice and solid. Okay. Then we can get a little bit more adventurous with that movement. The slide. Reaching away. Okay, one more time around. Up. Up. Over the top. Over the top, reaching to the side, reaching to the side, and back jog. So same face in front on, we go into our ladder lunges with our twist, okay? So ladder lunge, twist. You can see I'm changing my angle on my feet. Okay, working through those movements, looking up past the fingers to the ceiling. And swap the side. Might take aim because we're getting going. Control that movement down. Alright, and back jogging again. So, back around we go. Into our squats. We can just mix up the variation in this now. Down we go, hold at the bottom. Back up again, you're going to feel a little bit of burning going on in your quads if you're not used to doing this. If that's too easy for you, bring your arms here. Or up here. This is where things start to shake. Alright, and everyone loves this one. Down in the bottom position, pulse up and down. And repeat a few rounds of that. Down we go. So you're not bouncing, you're controlling that slow movement up and down, up and down. And there's a big burn on the quads, all right? Back into our lunges, straight into our dynamic movements. Starting to get nicely warmed up at this stage. And down we go. Controlling that movement. Back over on the other side. So that again is that's warmed up. The heart's ticking nicely on that one. And then we go straight into a yoga flow, a bit of core work, and then I'll just talk you through the next couple of rounds, alright? In we in and up, out and down. So breathing in and up. Up and down. Out we go into push up position. 
Nice and solid, the lower we go. Upward dog or cobra with your knees on the floor. Tuck your toes into down dog. Allow yourself to bend into that position for a couple of seconds. Back into push up. Lower. Three, two, one. Up. Okay, I'll just do three rounds of that for the nature of this. You can do more if you want to. Then we go into our supple spine, so I'll do the shortened version of this. Exhale, arch up. Inhale, hollow down. Alright. Exhale, arch up. Inhale, hollow down. And there we go straight into our supermans or our superwoman's bird dogs. Drop the side. What you don't want is overarching through. So keep it nice and straight. Good. Onto the T-spine rotation. Keeping that arm straight. On to the other side. Child's pose. And we bring in a bit of a front crawl position here. So it's nice, nice way to get a good stretch through the supporting lat along there. Keeping that nice strong arm position. And then we go into our lean backs. Keep it nice and solid. And across. Back you go. Very important to keep the glutes squeezed. As you do this, quads, again, that's going to be a cheat. You're not going to feel that in the quads. Knees together. Back you go. And the quads will be screaming. All right. And back onto that position again. Now we're going to the spinal waves, then this is the last one of a shortened sequence sequence. So arch up, all the way back, follow down, come forward. And we're just gonna spinal waves. Lovely movement for the shoulders. Getting out over the top position as far as you can. Alrighty, so that's the first few bits, and we'll do triangle flow from here, which is a lovely fluid flow. Starting in the hands and knees position, swooping down, up you come, tuck the toes into down dog position, step the right leg forward, drop down and up. Okay, so minimal pressure to the fingers here. We'll just do five, up you come, down into right triangle, keeping that hip like that, up and down we go, into our middle position, tiny bend in the knees, forward fold, again keeping that back flat or sticking your bum, stuck out, that's all hammies here. Out onto the left side and left prime. Yep. Swooping down around, dropping down again. All right, 
challenge yourself to use just the tip of a finger or none at all, five reps. You can do more if you want to. Get your down dog, heels to the floor, sticking your bum up to the ceiling and dropping down. Everything's gonna be screaming up the back of the legs. And earn your breather into child's pose position. So you can do a couple of rounds of that pose, that flow, it's lovely, side to side. Um, then, uh, if you want to open up the chest and the shoulders, we'll do what we call the WTYI sequence. So that's W, couple of seconds of a squeeze here. T, Y, exhale into I, and then squeeze the blades back, push back behind you. And we go again. W, T, exhale, Y, I, and back in behind again. So again, you can do a couple of rounds of that. That's lovely to open up the shoulders and chest. And uh, we're doing the pillar sequence. So this is a core, slightly harder, heavier duty sequence that we do in the push-up position, knee to elbow, okay, okay, if you need a break, take a break, if you want to just keep going, knee to the opposite, elbow, keep it nice and solid, alrighty, take a breather, you'll repeat that, or you can go, knee up, push up, Just a little bit more advanced. All right, on the right side plank. So we call this the pillars because the, four, the core pillars, front, side, and back, and then the other side. So, side plank is either through the knee or through the ankle. And we go one, two, three, four. Take a breather. Then we do our beloved hip thrusts in that position. One, two, keep this hip up. Three, four, that's very tough. One sided run, two, three, four, and down. And then arm and leg out the front and out the back. Out the front, out the back, into our V-sit position. Holding that. Get flat through the lower back and hold, and then lower down into a hollow hold position, and back up again. Lower, three, two, one. Back up. Three, two, one. Heel toe bridge, working the posterior. Up, squeeze the glutes to the top. Up, squeeze the glutes to the top. You can make that harder by going on the one leg. And so on. So, single or double, depending where you're comfortable. You shouldn't feel no pressure in your lower back. Back over onto the side plank on the other side, either through the knee or through the ankle. One, two, three, four, down. I'll demonstrate it through the side of the knee now. One, two, three, four, down. One, two, three, four, down. And one, two, three, four. And you're back around on all fours. Okay. So that's one round of the pillars, and you can do a couple of rounds of that if you want to. That's a, quite a challenging one. And then we can add in more into that, all right? But for the purpose of this video, we'll just do a little bit of a, a warm down loosener now, all right? So we'll do a bit of, bit of um, glute stretching. Everyone likes the old pigeon. So you're in that push-up position. Bring your right leg underneath the midline. So you'll be like here. And then you lower down into 
that position. All right, so you're feeling a little bit of stretch out the back here. You need to find the angles that are comfortable for you. You shouldn't feel any pinching in the hip in here. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, I'm doing a bit of a reach to get the, the stretch effect. Okay, so hold that for 30, 40 seconds. Swap onto the other side. Feel a, feel a bit of a stretch in that. And you can hold those positions. Everyone likes to see how flexible they are after sessions as well. So it's like, check your straight leg raise, lock the quad straight, see the leg lift, see how far up that goes, and see what the range of that movement is like, side to side, all right? And what we're looking for, if your straight leg raise is here at 45, that's a red. This is kind of coming into amber territory. This is coming into green light territory, so, it's just one check that we do in these movement rev classes as well of how flexible you are in that particular movement along with all the other ones as well. And a nice little one then to wrap it up completely is bring the knee up, rolling to the side, keeping that shoulder on the floor here. Okay, and just breathing into the belly. Taking that big breath in down here, you feel the stretch. Feel that stretch going all the way through here. You can hold it for longer than that if you want to, by all means. This hand stays down, rotate to the other side. Not as flexible on this side. Okay, so you get the idea. You can just finish off with some like nice low level static stretching. So there's a little routine to get your crack in. You can do more more of the more advanced stuff there's shed loads more to come over the next couple of weeks and um, all our private members groups are going to get longer versions of this because they're in with us and our, our uh, customers and anyone else who wants to join in just give us a shout and we'll uh, give you access to the group uh, just give us a call we look forward to hearing from you take it easy be safe